Hey there, guys, gals. Fans and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Another episode of Shapes 2 coming at you. Um, let's see. Last time, we really cleaned up a lot of stuff. I'm actually really, really happy about this. We've got this blueprinted and everything, got it all knocked out. This is the uh, stacker... Actually, this is not the right thing. Um, num, 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 num. hold on, I lost my place. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, platform stacker 16 lane, that's what this is. So we went through and we went through a couple... <laughs> I'm just gonna keep repeating myself, it's alright. We went through a couple of iterations as to how I wanted this to work. So we've got a stacker 12 lane, which is too long for any of these platforms. We're gonna need the 3x3 for it. Uh, but you can kind of see the visual representation here. I'll just paste it anyway. So I, the idea behind this was the outputs would be on the outside, inputs on, oh no, inputs on the outside, outputs on the inside. That's very helpful. <laughs> and then it pushes down and that's where we load it onto trains, right? That was the idea behind that. I like this layout, this worked out pretty well. Uh, since I don't have anything large enough for that, we also worked on a regular four lane, which this is what actually turned into the 16 lane. So this is just, this is this, copy pasted three more times, and then spread out. That's all this, so it does, it has this fanning out kind of a thing, right? Then that turned into this, whereas I really took this same idea, and we copy pasted it down, and uh, I gave some spacing between each of the lanes to try to maximize this. So this is 16 lanes worth. Uh, 4444, four, four, four. I can do my math, so that all goes away. What we really have here are drop-offs for the materials. So blue squares come in here, and we've got the two designated as the bottom, and two designated as the top in the red circle. And this is kicking out all these shapes for us. So this is what's keeping all these trains nice and busy and everything, and that's what's getting us our additional score. This is our operator level we're working on. So it's something I wanted to get cleaned up a bit as we progress, and if we could just keep getting more of that awesome. I haven't changed this process at all, so that's a slow burn, and I actually removed this one completely. Which I could re-add fairly easily, I think. But we're not going to worry about that today. Today, I'd actually like to work on this pin action, right? So these are raised items. You can kind of tell if I zoom in real good. You see those little black dimples on the bottom? Those are pins. So these are pin pushed up. And this is a nice little setup here. I kind of like this blueprint. Uh, works out pretty well. It's all very compact. I could compact it more, but this is a good proof of concept, right? So you might be like, John, how, how do we make it better? Well, we don't raise and lower the stuff. We don't raise or lower anything for the pins. And I want to work on that, but this is a pretty decent first draft. I'm, I don't know why, but I'm stuttering this morning real bad. So I want to say instead of first draft, this is our this is a really good first giraffe, right? I think we can agree as as a as a people, as a community, this is a fine first giraffe. <laughs> first giraffe. Okay, there is the actual hubberino. Because of volume and everything else, I don't mind having more trains this way and then feeding into this line. I'd like to keep as much of the hub unoccupied as possible. And, like, take a look. Like, it's not even busy. We have, what, five trains? None. Two. Then this is taking that to here. And this is loading up one, one train's worth. Right? One train's worth. And there's so many things we've learned and can improve upon. For sure, for sure. Okay, anyway, let's go back to this. What is the rest of this required? I've been kind of shirking my responsibility here. Let's just scroll all the way down. Okay. That gets complicated. This doesn't get entirely complicated at all. Let's knock out this guy. So it's... And then it's... Same thing but green. And then it's double pinned, and then it's ultra quintuple pinned. Okay, that's very easy. We can get that knocked out real quick. Like now, I believe there's some green 
somewhere. There it is. It's over there. Uh. All right. Well, staring at it ain't gonna fix, right? So let's just get this going on. Am I high? Did I pick the uh, extract shape? Oh, is it because it can't place all of it? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the issue. Uh, fine. Thanks. Also, that's not what I want. Okay. This should be very simple, right? This is only going to do what? Push pin, right? That's all this is doing? Oh. Boom! Operator level get! Awesome! We have some- oh, I'll deal with research later. I- I have to- I have to not- I have to not do too many things at once or I'll just lose my McNuggets. Okay, you are pinned. And you are the first thing, right? Nope. Regula, regula pinned. So let's go grab that pinning stuff and let's see if we can do a better draft of it. It was this. So this... That's really what the dilly dilly. I can't scroll out anymore. Um, just save it, but I'm not gonna save it. There we go, cool. All right, this is gonna look like not this. Okay, let's see if we could do some work before we do literally anything else. What I'd like to do ultimately is get rid of that. And then I'd like to get rid of this. I keep forgetting we can just do it like this. It's just, it feels weird. I don't know why it feels weird. It feels weird. Nope. Other way, my guy. Okay. So there's that. It's getting pinned immediately, right? Then it needs to be painted, right? What's this guy? Uh, painted and pinned, pinned and painted. I don't think it's super duper matters. Oh, another. But do look at that, nice, nice, nice. Uh, we're actually gonna get rid of that since I'm changing literally everything. I need a paint shape two lane mark two. One, two... No, four... Wait, how many do these things do at a hit? One, two... Oh, this also goes the other way. This music is different. One, two... Three, four... Five, six... Ah, uh, crap. Even with an amazing amount of density, this is going to be a problem. A freaking problem. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Let's get rid of that. Uh, actually, the alternative is just push it out a little farther. One, nope. One. Oh god, this blueprint is scuffed. What happened? Hold on. I don't I don't remember me having it that scuffed. Was it that scuffed? No. It's uh, copy paste, copy paste error. Let's just call it that. So one. Yeah, I would be confused as well. Sorry, mate. There's four, right? Now for this line, we're gonna do the same thing and then we're gonna level her up.
Okay, so that takes care of that. And now we need one more. Hang on, I don't think I'm doing this right. I don't think I'm doing this right at all. Uh... Four per lane. This is nowhere near correct. What this actually is... I'm undersimplifying this. I'm oversimplifying this far too much. That's one lane. That's two lanes. Right? Yeah. That's that's how that should look. Now, the other thing I need to consider Maybe we do this the same way we did the other one. One, two. But so back that up. Back that up. Yeah, I kind of felt like I was doing this incorrectly. But I wasn't sure how or why. Okay, that looks better. And then output is going to look like this. Because it's already offset by one. Oh, I see how I did this. Okay, that maybe makes a little more visual sense. And we go there, and then we go like that. Okay. So this takes care of four lines, right? Uh, I don't have nearly enough paint. Where the crap is this? Go oh. Yeah, this, this has to come over here. Uh, to me, lads. To me. Oop. And this is going to be some sort of... Magic. I don't even know what to do with this. I guess I was going to feed it to the other side, which we still can. That. Uh, it would be just that if I did the right thing. I did not select the right item. Nope. Grabbing the belts, yo. Boop. That's better. Okay. Okay. So that's getting pinned, and it's a way to get painted. Sorry, I got the hiccups like crazy now. Uh, apparently, pinned and painted gets me hiccupy for whatever reason. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. What is... Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> How about that? Okay. This is taking a while. Why? Oh, no. I didn't check how long it takes to pin things. Oh, my God. It takes three? Oh, no. This won't work. Oh, uh, why did I... Why? Why? Why is brain bad? Okay, that's why it sucks. That's why it sucks. Alright, so this has to move. Ratios, baby. Ratios. What even are they? That goes there. Alright, so for each... For each line...
One, two, yeah, get in there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So here's how this do. There's that. Now it's correct. Okay, not not a big deal, not really a strong setback either. We're fine. Uh, this looks like that. Uh, I don't know what to do with the top rung. The thing is, there hasn't been 100% of the time that things are sent, so maybe... Oh, man. What if I built... Okay, let's let's put a pin in this. Uh, quite literally, we're going to put a pin in this. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for playing. Doink, 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 doink. Pip, 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 go, 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 go. It's like, um... Oh, what's that? A Popeye. It's like Popeye. Right? I'm eating me spinach. It's that. It's that guy. It's that guy. Okay. So, what we have is three here, but I would like to build it. Oh, actually, three is correct. No. Four is correct. I need another line. Um. Yeah, so in this case we're missing we're missing one in each. So there's a couple of things we could do if we want to really like balance it out. Um things will be fine once it does balance out. But the thing is I kinda wanna guarantee for every process we do we can use all the lines, or we only use two lines or something. I'm not really too sure how I want to handle this. I think a balancer. I think I want to build a balancer of some sort. Uh, maybe a, uh, an egregious pain in the rump, but I don't think this is going to be too painful. So what I need to do is very similarly what I did before, but if I could get it into its own platform, that'll save me some time, right? This is going to be really simple. I have 12 lines coming in. I have no guarantee whatsoever that we're going to have throughput. We're gonna have dedicated throughput. So here, let's just, this is easy. Okay, now, what do I do if the first line is empty? Uh, okay, let's, let's, uh, I'm not really too sure how I want to attack this. What I need to know, or what I'd, I'd like to build for sanity, and of course I'm using sanity very loosely here, is what do I do if one of the lines are empty? I don't want to have to think about it. I want to, on the other side, I'd like to set up for all 12 lines, even if I only have one line, or I think we've been calling them lanes, if one lane comes in. So let's break this apart, right? Um, actually, what we're going to do... We're going to use the full Megillah. The full Kit und Caboodle. Nah, just get, get rid of that, mate. Thank you. There's no reason not to. I think. So there's that. Same dill dill. Same dilly dilly. Okay. So you might be like, John, what are you even on about? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you. You hang on. You'll see it all right. For sanity's sake also, we're going to do just two at a time. Because I like, san I like it. I like sanity. I really do. Now, what I maybe also need to do is... Like, should the one on the... So, is this a 4-4 four, four balancer, or is this a 12-12 twelve, twelve balancer? You know what? I, I don't know if that makes any sense. What I'm doing now, what I'm working on right now, is this. This whole thing should also be able to jump up one or two layers and commingle. But this guy on the far left is not feeding the far right. 
Right? They're not they're not feeding each other. They're just feeding up. So it's actually it's not even a 4 to 4 balancer. It's a 3 to 3 times 4. No. Yes. 3 to 3. Yeah, it's a 3 to 3 times 4 is what this really is. I'm trying to feed three lines into each other in a copacetic manner. So we're going to start on the first one. First one's going to look like this. Feeds right to two. This also goes up. Actually, there's a... Does that work? It does work. Okay, so we're going to already... We already have some space savings. Let's try this again. One to two. One to three. And then I need... Two to one. Two to three. Three to two. Three to one. Now let's let oh my god, what happened there? <laughs> three to one. So there this might look like a lot of crap. A lot of feeding and unfeeding. So let's assume I wish I could feed this for just a second. I mean I can. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this back to home. We're going to work with it. Okay. I feel like I have a little more control here. So, I'm feeding one lane worth, right? What I want to see is I want to see it evenly distributed among the others. That's kind of the idea behind it. It's going to be a little sluggy until things are filtered out and things are well, well distributed. So now this will take alternate paths, but it'll eventually feed the other ones. Now, the problem is I kind of think with the circuits, we should probably do something about it because now it kind of unfilled the third line, right? Man. That's going to be a problem no matter how I slice it. But this does kind of even it out a little bit, right? So eventually two and eventually three will get something. Now if I fill in three, it'll also commingle down a little bit. Hmm. I guess what I don't have is knowledge as to which one is the thing. Yeah, but this does prove the concept, right? So if I were to do this on all of them, at least wherever... So the next thing we're working on, right? Whatever we get to next, it doesn't matter what it's fed in as, because this will do all the balancing. But if we go, hey, I want to do a stacker or whatever, like whatever we're going to do, we can guarantee what's coming out to it is full lanes. I kind of wish there were warehouses, but in a world where there's infinite resources, maybe that's less important. Okay, here's what I'd also like to do. I know I'm bouncing in between some stuff, but I kind of want to say, trust me, it's worth it. It might not be worth it. Uh, wire basics, unlock. Logic gates, simulated buildings, simulate of logical shape signals. Global wild while ah global wire transfer, global gablile of different channels requires third floor. Okay, let's take a look at what this is about. Is there a tutorial on wires? There is. With wires, you can fully automate factories and even build dynamic factories that can build any shape, make anything machine or a mam. Okay. Uh, wire buildings work by transporting and pressing logical signals. A logical signal can either be a number, a color, a shape, empty, conflict. Uh, will their signals conflict? Okay. Empty. Or the number zero is classified as off, so boolean. All their signals are considered on. Okay. Uh, controlling conveyor belts. Use a belt filter to control the flow of shapes. 
It is an essential tool for building dynamic factories. The belt filter routes shapes based on wire input signal. Empty or conflict blocks the conveyor belt. Number, if the number is zero, shapes are routed to the side. Otherwise, shapes are routed to the right. Okay. Shape, matching shapes are out to the right, everything else is to the side. Random operator shapes. Once you complete the last milestone, the operator level induces a randomized shape goal. You can, of course, build a new factory for every goal. We just building a man. See, blow that reads the shape automatically produces it. You can receive the circuit, or you can receive the current random shape by placing a global wire receiver. Setting to operator shape. Okay, so I need a global wire receiver. Using simulated buildings, you can process shapes that are stored in logical signals. For example, let's say you're reading the target shape, see above, and want to find whether or not, whether there is a circle or a rectangle in the top right, so you can configure belt filters accordingly. Using a simulated half destroyer, rotator, and half destroyer again, you can reduce the shape signal to only the given quarter. Oh. You can now repeat this for every possible quarter possible shape there. There are four quarters and four shape types. Stack the results. You can already produce any given uncolored one layer shape. Interesting. Okay, that... That changes... Okay. The wires don't do what I think they did, but they actually are significantly more powerful. Oh, I'm cracking my knuckles for sure. Yeah, if you can hear it, I'm sorry, but oh boy. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, we'll work on the MAM in a bit. I kind of want to finish this balancer stuff, so display... Wires... Wire, wire bridge, wire transmitter, wire receiver... Very cool. Button. As advertised, I love it. Uh, what is the other thing I need? Global wire transfer. I do want simulated buildings. And I do want... That thing for the MAM, which we'll work on. Uh, in... In global corporate world, a MAM is a joke, actually. A MAM is a... Uh, it's called manager after manager. Uh, I've also heard it referred to as mom, a manager of managers, where someone doesn't have like a discipline. Like they're not, oh, networking administrator or something. Like they're not server administrator. They're not chief architect. Or, like there's nothing. It's like, what do you do? Well, I manage people. How many managers? How many managers do you manage? Oh, I manage many managers. You can call me mom. <laughs> there's a manager of like they don't. They don't really do anything specific it's kind of funny simulated buildings okay we will get to all that later i don't think there's anything in here that's going to help me now um actually Let me take a look at that book one more time. How do you read from a line? A belt filter. That's not really what I want. Uh, enter a signal to constantly produce. I don't think that's really what I want. Uh, button, simulated buildings, what's in here? Um, hmm. So here's what I'm thinking with this. It's wires to, uh... <laughs> it's weird, it's just going right into the trash. Um, I get what's going on here, I think. 
belt. I'm looking for a belt reader. It's not really what I want. Okay, well, let's talk about the theory I was thinking of. What I wanted to be able to do is check each of the lines, right? Are you producing anything? Are you producing anything? Are you producing anything? If the answer is no, it means it's not being fed. So what I could do is I could stop the top line from feeding into the first one. And I could say, you know what? Stop it. Don't don't back feed. We don't need a feedback loop, right? That's what I'm trying to prevent. And I was hoping the wires did that. That's That was my hope about it. Um... Is there a way to get... There is. Roo, 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 roo. Which is really cute. I think that's from, um... Fox and the Hound. <laughs> really cute little movie. Roo, uh, one of the... The fox. The hound. One of them is trying to emulate the other. So instead of, ah, woo, it's, uh... Roo, 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 roo. It's very cute. Okay, anyway. Uh, that's a display I don't want. This is a single producer I think I want. Alright. Oh, here we go. Wire receiver? Nope. Global wire. No, no. I want to. I want to read this block. <laughs> okay. I'm missing some core concepts here, and that's fine. Use a belt filter. Where is a belt? This is a conveyor belt. A wire. Wire bridge. Display. Signal producer. Flow control. Oh, flow control. Belt reader. Okay. Okay. Yep. 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 I did not get that far on the list. Uh, that. Twelve. I don't even know what that means. Uh, huh. Okay, that doesn't do quite what I want. So, is there a way to stop via signal belts from operating? So this guy's bringing stuff down. Can we signal producer? So this would be a belt reader, right? It'd be read here. So this is where we're checking to see if anything is coming. What I'd like to do, and I, I'm still talking theory here because I don't know the verbiage of this whole thing, but the idea is, is this thing doing anything? If the answer is no, shut this guy off. Flow control, belt filter, pipe gate, belt reader. Oh, I want a belt reader. Uh... How does this work? <laughs> uh, the neat thing about this is the reading and the filtering, we could set up some sterilization, sterilizing our inputs, so to speak. We could set up some like trash collecting. We just like, hey, did you read this item? Is that item over here? If it's not, shovel it. Uh, but that's not really super important. Pipe gate, belt filter. Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't think there's a way for us to... Hmm. What we might have to do is something a little more... Drastic? Uh, 
Uh, oh, no. Uh, hold on. There we go. Let's come like this. So what I want here is... Oop. What I want here is a belt filter. Oh, I see what's going on here. Uh, I want what's on the far right. So if there's nothing here, nothing passes back, right? So now, for giggles... I'm hoping I'm doing any of this right. There's a good chance I'm not. So we'll just feed a couple items. Good, thanks. Okay. Let's pull that back a bunch. Oh, uh, there is no trash, right? I don't... We're not doing the trash. Let's do something really quickly. Okay, there's nothing here, right? So back to our original program. This is gonna feed into the bottom line. Come over here and start to sift around stuff. Now, what I don't want is I don't want this guy to feed back down here. He's not, he's not receiving anything. There's no point for that to happen, but Yep, stops right there. Perfect. Now we hook this in. And now we have something that resembles a bit better of a balancer. So the third line... Yep, now the third line's receiving and now it distributes proper. I have no idea how to make this any more compact. But there, see? Now, now it's actually helping out. But that proves a good concept right there. I really like that. Uh, I'm gonna pause right here very anticlimactically I need to get up and stretch so I'll be back in just a second okay I am back sometimes my back <laughs> as stated uh, gets touchy so uh, where are we at I would like to finish this balancer idea I have though maybe it's wholesale and necessary with the mam but I kind of wonder how this is going to fly. So it would effectively be... Something like this. Right? Um, and then it would be... Um, I guess I don't need to lower this at all then, do I? The idea ultimately is that we would prevent... Uh, actually, don't, don't, don't nuke that yet. We prevent any amount of backflow where applicable, so... We don't need a check per level, we need a check per lane. So let's say, let's start from here. This guy... We're just gonna remove that for simplicity's sake. This guy's not producing anything, right? So this is going to be a... Belt filter. Like this. And if it is producing, it'll feed back like this. To which case we can also feed back like this, right? So let's try that. Let's trim this guy out. Oh, um, I should probably complete a little bit more of this before we do much more. Let's trim that out. Let's lean this up as much as we can. So, if this guy is producing, then... Ooh, that's not going to work at all. Um, I'm going to run out of space really, really fast. So, let's just nuke the whole thing.
How does that look? How about that? How about that? Does that work? Okay. Again, uh, I, I guess I'm more I'm more saying it out loud over and over and over again to myself to make sure I understand what the crap I'm doing. And maybe I'm overcomplicating a very simple situation, but what I'd like to do ideally is we don't backfill anything unless that line is producing. So this guy... Oh, it's going to do nothing because I have nothing hooked up. Aha! Hilarious. Um, but... But, but... This, this actually should still prove a point. This is coming all the way down, which I guess it doesn't. Oh, no, it's not. Um, oh, hang on. This doesn't work the way I thought it would. No, this does work the way I thought it would. This doesn't feed into anything else. Uh, man, what's a good way to do this? I can either say, if you're not getting feed, don't feed anyone else. I could say, if you are getting feed, don't receive feed. Maybe that's smarter. So how do I do an inverse? Because right now it's not receiving anything. So I don't want this to happen. So I need a... How do I do a not? Did we do not? Dang it. Nope, we didn't. Scribble, scramble, jingle, jangle. All right. Um, how close until we get another operator level? Eh, not too terribly far away. What I should probably do is work on the other parts that I've been lacking. Uh, but I'm a little too excited about this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build this in two waves. We're going to do this in two pieces. Just so we have some iterative design and such. This goes away. We're going to do what we were doing before. Exactly verbatim. So, level one. Go to two. Level three. To two. To one. Two to one, two to three. Okay, I don't like this design, but this design is at least very compact and it gets some of the point across, right? So here's how this is going to work. We're gonna take, we're gonna grab actually all y'all. We're gonna cut you, we're gonna put you there. And then, flip a -roo, rotate for you, goes right there. Cool. One thing that drives me a little nuts about games like this is the whole... its Well, it's me. that It's a me problem. Uh, perfection is the enemy of progress, if you've ever heard of that one before. Meaning, we don't need to get something perfect the first time. We can work with what I call iterative design, right? So that way, as we progress throughout the game, what should happen is... We make improvements, slowly and surely, over what we're trying to establish. That is how... Perfect. That is how we evolve as players, right? So here's what ought to happen. Let's get two lines here. Let's use a different thing entirely. So I'm filling two of these lines. At the very end, what should happen is three lines should be full. Now, there's a lot of wasted effort, probably, with it changing hands and all that stuff. But what should happen is we're always going to be able to use all 12 lanes regardless, even if we're only filling eight of them, three of them, ten of them, whatever. There we go. That is this in practice. What happened? Oh, uh, there we go. Nope. There we don't go. What happened? What happened? Oh, the direction's borked. The direction's bjorked. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to do this again. 
I just purge the line. Layer 1 and layer 2, counting from the bottom up. Just like you count floors in a building or whatever. There you go. It's a little bit of clustering because the first floor is trying to feed the second floor. And the second floor is receiving some goods from the third floor. Yeah, this gets a little... This gets a little squiffy, but the, the theory still stands, right? So this is a 12... No, it's not a 12 to 12. This is a 3 to 3 times 4 uh, balancer. I'm actually going to go ahead and save that. <gasps> oh my god! My butt flashed before my eyes. Okay, this is a platform. This is a 3 to 3 times 4... Uh, let's actually, for naming convention, balancer, three to three times four. Perfect. Cool. So, what was all that work for, you might be asking? And I would be like, you know what, that's a darn fine question. Uh, it was this. This was the whole thing. Because, or was it this guy? Who did I redux? You're... You're the redux. Um, here was the thing, because we have some belts that are uneven... Yeah, see here, this actually ruins my point. This actually ruins my point real bad. Because <laughs> it's a it's a 3 to 3, remember? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab you, we're going to feed you like that. Okay? And we're just going to trim that. We're going to grab another thing. Let's say we're going to grab this guy. Oh my god, stop. Now, what I'm doing is I'm spreading out. So we have... Two lanes... Three lanes, three lanes, two lanes? That doesn't sound right. Oh, I didn't add the balancer. Ha <laughs> ha! You know that thing we need to add to prove our point that I didn't totally do it all? Aha! This is a platform balancer 3 to 4 to 4 to 3 to 2. And it looks like that. Now this comes in. And I see 3, 3, 2. But there's actually a bit of backlog on the belt. But what this should do is get us at least a little more noticeable and just fill everything out somewhat evenly, right? With the signals, with the not command, we'll be able to do a better job and say, hey, if you are feeding yourself, do not feed anyone else, or do not receive anything. We'll we'll figure out the math on that. But basically says, am I being fed? No, then I should receive feed. Am I being fed? Yes, then I should feed others. However we want to do that uh, logically, we can. Okay, I've cleared the lines completely. So we do see a little bit of a gap, but everything is flowing. So three, three, three is six. So we should see on the other side a few lines missing, right? So two, three, two, two. And again, it doesn't really super matter how this works, but this will feed, you know, unevenly clearly. When we divide by 50% over and over and over and over again, that's what gets messy. So again, perfection is the enemy of progress. I'm happy with this as our Mark 1. Actually, I forgot to name it as Mark 1. Let's get our naming convention set, right? I don't see the extraction or the painting changing anytime soon, so I'm not designating those as marks. Okay, now we have somewhat proper stuff, right? Better, we have better stuff. That's that's what we're going for, we have better stuff. Totally, better, better stuff, better stuff. 
Uh, you're gonna come here, and then you're gonna go there, there, there. Thank you kindly. Uh, we haven't even gotten to paint yet. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. I forgot about je paint. Je paint. Nope. I'm so, so happy I don't have to worry about uh, pressure. Uh, pipe pressure or anything. That's uh, super great. I like that very much. Okay, now, how do I get this connected? Because once I do this, that breaks. Once I do this, that breaks. Oh, you know what? I guess maybe what's the only real way to do this? Ooh, thank goodness. Okay, I wasn't sure for a second, honestly. So this will feed those two. Oh. Oh, whoops. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Wah, 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 wah. Simba wants to turn this into a Wario thing. I wouldn't mind it too terribly. I think it might be funny. You can't just hop chop someone like that. What you can do though go like that. Right? Why we've been playing this game for several hours now. How come I'm having a really hard time? Yeah, there look at there. There we go, mate. I could not tell you why this has become a problem, but a problem this has become. Uh, it happened again? My goodness. Okay, we got some paint. No outlets. Hey, there's another two operators. Oh, we got a lot of... Oh, I thought it was always just one research point. Hot diggity dang. Give me them logic gates. Medium large gates. Okay. This is gonna get pushed into some rail line and sent back, and at least we can get started on some of this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna set up the rail line, and then we'll do everything else. So, in relation... Oh, it's literally right here. Okay, well... I guess we're setting up a new line, aren't we? Ba 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 da da ba 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 bum ba da da bums ba ba bums. Sorry. Pulling a Marge Simpson here. I think they're neat. <laughs> okay, there's that. Here's this. There's one of them's. We're doing a shape loader. Caustic soda. Whoops. It has to be one of my favorite memes from Payday 2, when Payday 2 was fun to play and not 150 gigabytes or whatever it is now. Uh, how do I say this without saying this? They're cooking a fancy feast. Not just for cats. One of the ingredients is caustic soda. But I love the accent of the fellow who says it caustic soda. 
I think it sounds silly, and I, I like it and I appreciate it very much. So that's running its course around the the Megacycle Entertainment Discord server again. Caustic Shoda. It's almost like um, Mr. Krabs, maybe. I like money. Like that kind of a thing is just unanimous, synonymous, whatever. Ambiguous? I'm not sure. I don't need this pipe to go anywhere. But it doesn't like things. Wait. Oh, uh... This is where I put my connected pipes, if I had any. I mean, this looks like this is working. Oh, uh, yep. Why, why do I keep forgetting train stops? Like, often now. I don't know why. There you are, friend. There you are, my guy. Look at that. The throughput is still not great, but this is a fine first balancer. Again, the idea really of it is, is I don't want to have to memorize, oh crap, did I use the first four layers? Or did I do three layers of the first three? Did I, you know, I don't want to have to remember, so this, this way I don't have to. Well, this is a way to do it. I've already recognized two better ways to do it, but that is a way to do it. Let's head home. Oh, no. Let's get our picture with the balancer. <laughs> right there, right? What a stupid mess this is. <laughs> anyway. Good stuff. Thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle. And I hope to join... Uh, I hope you join me or I join you, whichever. I'm not picky for another game of... Shapes 2. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.